title of the exhibition is The Tail End of the Tail, which play with the similitude between uh, tail and tail. The end of the tail is a way of saying to be at the very end of something, and tail, as we know, it means fairy. This production has been made during the second lockdown, mostly. The exhibition points out a surreal environment or a psychological environment where we all found ourselves. There is one painting in the show which is titled The Prize of Motherhood, which is a portrait of my wife Nicoletta, and uh, she's clearly exhausted. Nicoletta was reading a book titled The Prize of Motherhood. The beauty of her position, of her posture, uh, struck me so much that led me to take a picture, which then I worked in the studio. Another painting in the show is called Tea Time, and um, depicts a man. He's resting on top of a chair with his head on the floor and feet towards the hair. It's clearly something happened because of boredom. Boredom is a great access to you know, creativity. During the months of production of this exhibition, I've been researching and reading a few treatises on painting. One of those is the 50 Secrets of Craftsmanship of Salvador Dali and a couple of specific books on the Vermeer technique of painting. And I think the Blue Room which is a portrait of me and my wife, is the one in which I sort of tried out and experimented some of the formulas that I was researching in that period. There are three portraits of three characters that I wanted to honor. One is the portrait of uh, artist fellow Gaia Fugazza with a son and a daughter. The painting is titled Angry Birds, which refers to the famous game. The second portrait in the show is a portrait of uh, another fellow artist called Anna Franceschini. So me and Anna didn't meet in person to make the photo shooting before the painting, but we organized it uh, being me in London and uh, Anna in Milan. Anna is an artist as well, and she was able to understand my point of view, and I, in a way, think this is a bit of a collaboration for this reason. The third portrait is the image of Joy Halley. Joy is the owner of the nursery where Diana goes since she was six months old. So this was a way for me to thank her and uh, honor her for the great help she gave us. There are also two little paintings. One is called Monkey Business. The title comes from an exhibition I saw with my daughter recently in a museum in London. I became a father two years and a half ago now. This completely changed my life and uh, as a consequence changed my, my work. I always uh, exaggerate and push boundaries of what representation can be and somehow this became a very interesting question within the representation of, uh, of a little human being. The last painting in the show gives the title to the exhibition, it takes its source from Diana's favorite book there is a little mouse, a fox and a howl, which we eventually become in the painting itself.